When you're kite fishing offshore for sailfish, you often will need to make adjustments during the middle of the day. Wind might pick up. You might also want your kite to fly in a certain direction depending upon where you want it in the spread. So we're going to tell, take you through a couple different ways you can make those adjustments. Okay, so first of all, when flying your kite, I like to start with the bridle set right in the middle between the two marks. That way you have something to work off of, whether your kite's flying too low or too high. If your kite's flying too high, what you want to do is take that bridle and shorten it, push it towards the kite. That's going to make your uh, kite fly lower. It's going to hold that wind and not want to raise up in the air. Okay. If your kite's flying too low to the water and you want to bring it up higher, you're going to lengthen that bridle, pull it towards the mark that's furthest away from the kite, and that's going to create the kite to fly on top of the wind and get up higher okay. and elevate it. Is there a point where you don't want it to fly too high and, and why would you not want it to fly high? There's a happy medium that you want in between. Okay. You, you want to be able to elevate your baits properly where the kite's flying nice and steady. Uh -huh. However, if your kite gets too high, now you're eliminating your spread because your kite is taking up all that spread by flying straight up in the air as opposed to out. And when you do get a bite and your clip releases, there's way more drop back. So you don't want a ton of drop back when you're coming tight exactly. on a fish. So. All right, so if we're in a spread and we want to have a right kite and a left kite, are there certain things that we can do to make them fly differently? Um, yes, first of all, what you want to do is fly your kite without a weight on it. That kite, or so, several kites tend to fly a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Once you determine that, mark that kite as a left or right. Perfect. Then, in order to get more spread out of it, we'll add a lead to the top corner of the kite. Okay. And this is going to cause that kite to lean over and want to fly that direction. If I don't get quite enough lean out of it, what I'll do is add another small lead right here, just below that large lead. And that kite will kick over even further. If it's just too far, I'll slide that lead halfway down. And, I'll put and it right what is the optimal angle you want your kite to be flying? I like to look at the crossbar uh, behind the kite, the spars, okay. and imagine those parallel to the surface of the water. That way you get an, an ideal you know, optimal spread out of your kite. 